Hello YouTube, it's Detroit Borg and I'm back with another test of 3G network speeds. This time I'm going to test a 3G iPad next to a Wi-Fi iPad where the Wi-Fi iPad is connected to a 3G network via an iPhone 3GS. Now I'm able to do this because of a app called MyY which is available through the Cydia store. And as you can see I have it running right now and the network that the iPhone is using is 3G. You can see it up here. So right now I'm tethered to it. Basically the app creates a Wi-Fi, a local Wi-Fi network out of your 3G network on the iPhone. So I've connected this iPad to Wi-Fi running on the iPhone. And this of course is connected to directly to 3G. So let's go ahead and test it using the speed test app which I've done in my previous videos. Okay, let's start the test. In my first test, I see that the Wi-Fi tethered to the iPhone is much faster at 28 at 2811 down average and up of 261, while the 3G iPad is at 2073 down and 103 up, and it even has a higher latency at 141 to uh, the tethered uh, iPads 134. So let's run the second test. Once again, the performance on the Wi-Fi iPad tethered to the iPhone is much better than that of the 3G iPad. We're at 3098 average down and 272 average up, while we're at 2346 down and 105 up. And latency again is fairly close to each other. Uh, this time the latency is lower on the 3G iPad at 144 versus 161 on the tethered iPad. So let's run this a third time. Okay, we have interesting results on the third test. This time the 3G iPad was faster at 2791 average down uh, over the 1827 average down on the Wi-Fi. And the up speed was much better on the tethered Wi-Fi model at 263 average up versus 152 average up on the uh, 3G iPad. Latency again was very close at 150 to 142. So I guess what we can conclu conclude from this is that 3G uh, speed is not necessarily consistent. Uh, so performance seems to be very close together if you average out the differences, but you get surprisingly good performance out of a tethered iPad. Let's try loading some pages in Safari. Um, once again, we're gonna do the Apple page. So let's see if I can do this at the same time again. Very close. Once again, very close. All right, in that case, it looks like 3G beat uh, the Wi-Fi iPad by quite a bit. This seemed to hang up at the end here, so I'm not sure what caused that. Maybe there was some latency hiccup there. Once again, the 3G iPad was slightly faster. Let's do TwitPen. stuff you have and that's a great way to find out about it and get news and stuff and you can put in the stuff you want which is kind of cool all right and, well uh, uh yeah i bet on the right crash so you they know, didn't work out too well here, course, let's uh let's try that one more time Thank you. I have a great time doing it. And Ryan, I want to say I thought uh, Gadget was one of the best ideas for a uh, for a website in a long time. I love it. Yeah, you could. Okay. okay. Once again, 3G iPad is a little faster. Ideas. Now let's try YouTube. Very close. Okay. Let's load my latest video. YouTube, 
YouTube. It's Detroit Borg, and today we're unboxing an iPod Nano. So the 3G generation. iPad is playing this already. This is still loading. This is where things get interesting. The 3G iPad, because it's running on a 3G network, YouTube has downscaled the picture quality quite a bit. While the tethered iPad thinks it's running on the Wi-Fi network, when in fact it's actually running on a 3G network. But that's enough to fool the Wi-Fi iPad to download the full resolution YouTube video. So uh, YouTube performance on the tethered iPad is going to be a lot better than YouTube performance on the 3G iPad. Now let's try the ABC player. So let's go to uh, flash forward. The 3G iPad seems to load just a little, just a little more quickly. So once again, it looks like the uh, iPad 3G is just a little faster. Let's do the Amazon store. Once again, the iPad 3G is noticeably faster here while the tethered iPad is still loading. Well, that was a big difference. That took quite a bit longer to load, and once again, it might be some latency issue or some hiccup with the uh, performance of the Wi-Fi on the iPhone. Once again, it looks like the iPad 3G is still performing better than the iPad tethered to an iPhone in real-world tests. So although we saw no real clear winner in terms of speed tests, and in many cases we saw the tethered iPad winning, it looks like overall the iPad 3G still outperforms it. There, there are some advantages to using a, a iPad that thinks it's uh, connected to a Wi-Fi network, and we saw that with YouTube and some other content that otherwise can't be downloaded over a 3G network like Netflix may indeed work if you're tethering to your iPhone. I should also point out that the 3G on the iPad has much better reception, so if you want 3G performance in weaker signal areas, you're better off carrying the iPad instead of relying on your iPhone to tether. Once again, that's Detroit Borg with a test of the 3G speeds of the iPad 3G versus an iPad tethered to an iPhone 3GS. Thanks for watching.